안녕하십니까 정철입니다 정철의 요나서 영어로 통독 암송 12번째 시간입니다 오늘의 말씀은 조나 111 요나서 1장 11절 말씀입니다 자 다함께 구호 외실까요 준비 시작 성령 충만 영어 문통 아! 자 지난 시간에 얘기를 보면은 This terrified them 이 말이 그들을 공포에 질리게 했습니다. And they asked. 그래서 그들은 물었습니다. What have you done? 당신이 무슨 짓을 한 거요? They knew. 그들은 알고 있었습니다. He was running away from the Lord. 그가 하나님으로부터 도망치고 있다는 사실을 알았습니다. 왜 알았을까요? Because he had already told them so. 그들에게 이미 말해놨었거든요. 자, 오늘의 내용 들어봅시다. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, What should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? 자, 볼까요? The sea was getting rougher and rougher. 자, 무슨 짓을 한 거야? 그러고 있는 도중에, cast lots 하는 도중에, The sea was getting rougher and rougher. 바다가 점점 더 rougher and rougher, 거칠어지고 있었습니다. 이 문형이 굉장히 많이 쓰이는 문형이죠. get 다음에 비교급 and 또 비교급. 뭐 예를 들면 점점점점 점점 날씨가 추워지고 있었습니다. 그럼 뭐예요? It was getting colder and colder. 날이 점점 어두워지고 있었습니다. It was getting darker and darker. 그죠? 뭐 날이 점점 더워지고 있었습니다. It was getting warmer and warmer. 계속 get, 그 다음에 비교급, 비교급. 점점, 점점 이렇게 되고 있었습니다. 그렇게 돼요. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. 배는 이렇게 가는데 지금... 음? 바다가 물결이 오르다가 지금 이하단을 하기 시작하는 거예요. 응? 지금 하나님이 하시는 거죠. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. 점점 점점. 그러니까 조그만 배는 뭐 아주 어? 어, 낙엽처럼 흔들리고 빨리 조치를 취해라 이거 이런 말씀이죠 하나님이. So they asked him. So they asked him. 그래서 그들이 그에게 물어봤습니다. What should we do to you? What should we do to you? 우리가 무엇을 하는 게 좋겠어? 무슨, 어떻게 하는 게 좋겠어? 당신에게. 우리가 당신을 어떻게 하는 게 좋겠어? What should we do to you? 당신 때문에 이 일이 벌어진 건데. What should we do to you? To make the sea calm down. To make the sea calm down. Make the sea calm down. Sea가 calm down. 가라앉도록, calm down, 잔잔하게 가라앉도록 만들려면 은 What should we do to you? 우리가 당신에게 무엇을 하는 게 좋겠어? To make the sea calm down? For us. For us. 우리를 위해서 바다가 잔잔히 가라앉게 하려면 당신한테 뭘 어떻게 하면 되겠어? 물어봅니다. 이제 열쇠가 조나한테 달려있는 거예요, 지금. 이 사람은 어떻게 하면 좋아? 이 사람이 하나님으로부터 도망을 치고 있기 때문에 이 일이 벌어진 건데 어떻게 하면 좋겠어? 지금 그거예요. 자, 다시 한번 가봅시다. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. 그 바다는 점점 더 거칠어지고 있었습니다. So they asked him. 그래서 그들은 그에게 물어봤습니다. What should we do to you? 우리가 당신에게 뭘 어떻게 하면 좋겠어? To make the sea calm down. 바다가 calm down for us. 우리를 위해서 조용하게 하려면 어떻게 하면 좋겠어? 자, 한번 더. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. 그 바다가 점점 더 거칠어지고 있었습니다. So they asked him. 그래서 그들은 그에게 물었습니다. What should we do to you? 우리가 당신에게 뭘 어떻게 하면 좋겠어? To make the sea calm down for us. To make the sea calm down. 
바다가 캄다운하도록 우리를 위해서 캄다운하도록 하려면 당신한테 어떻게 하면 좋겠어? 자, 들어볼까요? The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, What should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? 한번 더. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, What should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? 자, 따라해 볼까요? The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, What should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? 자, 한번 더. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, What should we do to you? 자, shadowing. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, What should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, What should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, What should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? 자, 쉽고 재밌죠? 자, 엄지척 좋아요 눌러서 색깔을 바꿔주시고 아직도 구독 중이 아닌 상태로 계신 분은 구독을 눌러서 구독 중으로 바꿔주시고 그 다음에 공유를 눌러서 일가 친척 전 세계로 전파하시기 바랍니다. 라이팅 끝까지 꼼꼼하게 하시고 약 10분간 반복 낭송해서 안 보고도 유창하게 말할 수 있도록 연습해 두시기 바랍니다. 자 이번에는 사도신경을 함으로써 신앙 고백하도록 하죠. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sat us on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it. because its wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa, where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went aboard and sailed for Tarshish to flee from the Lord. Then the Lord sent a great wind on the sea, and such a violent storm arose that the ship threatened to break up. All the sailors were afraid, and each cried out to his own god, and they threw the cargo into the sea to lighten the ship. But Jonah had gone below deck, where he lay down and fell into a deep sleep. The captain went to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up and call on your god. Maybe he will take notice of us, so that we will not perish. Then the sailors said to each other, Come, let us cast lots to find out who is responsible for this calamity. They cast lots, and the lot fell on Jonah. So they asked him, Tell us, who is responsible for making all this trouble for us? What kind of work do you do? 
Where do you come from? What is your country? From what people are you? He answered, I am a Hebrew, and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. This terrified them, and they asked, What have you done? They knew he was running away from the Lord, because he had already told them so. The sea was getting rougher and rougher, so they asked him, What should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? 